Hi everyone, Jim with CD Nova Instruments again, and today we're looking at the AMA GC5000. This is a VTEX analyzer, benzene, toluene, ethyl benzene, xylene, and it is from AMA Germany, and it's um, it's distributed by Thermo Scientific. Um, my contacts are out of Franklin, Massachusetts, and uh, so we purchased this unit or these units from Thermo Scientific. And these are a great instrument for the, uh, the petrochemical industry is where I'm located up in Alberta, Canada. And this unit in particular is the GC5000 uh, ETEX unit. And there's a lot going on here, so I'll explain a bit about what I've got, I mean, how I've got everything set up here. Um, this system, all of these units are from AMA, so there's four, four units here. There's the benzene analyzer. Uh, below here we've got, got the hydrogen generator, zero air generator, and dilution calibrator here. And I've got a, I have a monitor connected to the uh, analyzer because it's just easier to see it up on, the, up on the screen up here. So what's happening is this, uh, this dilution calibrator, it's called the DIM200, and this unit is supplied by AMA and it will it will give you zero gas, get the finger out of the way, zero gas and span gas as you need it. So you'll have your cylinder connected to this, this unit here. Right below we have the ZAG zero air generator model 300. So there's a charcoal scrubber inside of here. And this works with a air compressor. So to give you a little air compressor to go with it, pushing air up through the line into the back of the zero air generators and this zero air generator feeds the dilution calibrator up here. Down at the bottom we have a hydrogen generator. So it's running at two bar pressure and this unit is supplying hydrogen over to the GC5000. So it's called a GC5000 VTEX analyzer. So this unit needs hydrogen because it has inside, it has an FID, flame ionization detector, around the side. So here's the FID on this unit. This is a small, small hole on the side of it. And so it has an FID, but it also has a column inside of here, a stripper column, and it runs on a hydrogen carrier gas instead of nitrogen. So I'm used to seeing gas chromatographs run with a nitrogen carrier, but this unit runs with a hydrogen carrier. You see on the back, it's been split, there's a hydrogen being split, one for the FID here, and one for the column, the carrier gas here. And the reason they do that, they find hydrogen is a better carrier because it creates better peak separation on the uh, peaks that are close to the, the uh, column that are almost on top of each other as it is with, I think, with styrene and xylene in this case. It actually creates a better peak separation in the chromatogram, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, enrichment tube down here. Pressure regulators, uh, carrier, carrier gas. In this case, it's hydrogen. FID air, which is also hydrogen. So both of these are infested with hydrogen. Here's the pump. The pump, the sample. And then there's the FID flame ionization detector inside this unit. So the, the column is sitting down underneath this oven right here. Okay, so it's just it's all secured in there. And then on the front, there's the computer module. And there's the uh, front screen on this unit. So it's easier to show it up top. Oh, one other thing I want to show you. Water reservoir. This is an uh, external water reservoir which is feeding into the hydrogen generator right here. So it has its own reservoir inside but it has this additional option for extended length of run for adding more water to it, your deionized water in here. So I've heard, I've sold a bunch of these up in the oil sands and they're telling me they can get four months of operation without having to refill this water jug which is great for them. So they have limited time to get the technicians out to these areas. And there's a status alarm output which will tell you when the water level is getting low so you can deploy the technician before the water actually runs out. You see the water level right here. So it's a great feature to have when you've got a remote location by far up north. So up here you can see what's going on. 
with the uh, with the VTEX analyzer, it's the GC5000. So you've got five different icons that you can click on. One for the uh, control window, status window, your data window, uh, setup, and events window for any alarms as well. And the one that uh, we I keep, I keep running here is the overview window because it will tell me what's going on. It shows injecting right here. It shows you a picture of the cell. And it's actually drawing the trace right here. You can see it as it's coming, the peaks are coming out of the uh, gas chromatogram. So if we go on the chromatogram, we can uh, expand that window and we can actually see the trace being drawn out. And as the peaks come out, you'll start to see the peaks uh, pop up here for benzene, toluene. Ethyl benzene, xylene, and anti-styrene on this unit. So easy to operate, easy to navigate through the windows. And, uh, you can actually go in and look at chromatograms, past runs. So you can uh, you can scroll through them up here, simply looking back and forth. So every 15 minutes it does a run, and just to see what the peak readings are, you can bring your mouse down and just highlight it. That, but there's there's benzene. Okay. Over here is toluene. Down here is ethyl benzene. MP xylene. Styrene and oxyline. So the reason I mentioned earlier they're using hydrogen for the carrier on these units is because they can get find my mouse again. They can get a, uh, a better peak separation. And you can see how close the styrene and MP xylene is. And I've seen past units that run nitrogen carrier where you can't even tell the difference between these two peaks. They're usually right on top of each other. But by using hydrogen as a carrier, they get a much better peak separation. And the great feature of this window is you can actually click on the chromatogram. You can zoom in spread these out a little bit more so you can see them a little, a little closely. So you can see the good peak separation you're getting between uh, styrene and oxyline in these units. So a great feature to have here that you can uh, zoom in on these chromatographs and look at it. So back to that window that's drawing the chromatographs. So this is real time. So you can see the peaks that are being drawn out as they're coming out of the column, the stripper column. If you're running your cal gas, you can watch the response. If you're running a ethylene, or in this case, the VTEX analyzer as well, on this unit. So that's the uh, GC5000 setup. And the other thing that's neat, if you don't have a monitor handy, you can actually, this is actually a touch screen. So you can touch, go through all of these windows and do exactly what I was doing a moment ago on the uh, on the mouse with the, uh, the monitor, and so you can look at the at the chromatograms. You can actually go over and touch them, and you can see the results just by the touch of your finger. There they are. There. So an incredible unit, incredibly well built unit, very strong, very robust in the field operations that we see out here in Alberta. This is going to get quite a bit of use. This is a very well built, <coughs> excuse me, very well built analyzer and uh, easy to calibrate and good response as well. If you have any questions on that, feel free to uh, post a comment. CD Nova Instruments, and just to give you a quick shot of our shop, uh, we have a lot of, this week, a lot of thermal analyzers in here for calibration. These are new instruments, some of the mixture of IQs and some of the I's, the 51i THC analyzer. And we have our calibration facility here as well. Dilution calibrator, zero air generator. If you have any questions, feel free to comment and I will respond. Thank you.